Hello again everyone. Today I thought I was going to clean up my uh, uh, palette. It was really messy where I'd been mixing colours for previous art uh, uh, creations and then I, by the time I'd watered them down they'd made some quite nice um, uh, colours in their own right. So I decided to use them up and do some little doodles, watercolour doodles in my small sketchbook. And what I'm doing here is just dipping into the colours I've diluted in my palette and painting leaves, uh, usually in two halves. Um, so you've got sort of like two, two sections and then picking up uh, another colour in the palette from the, the diluted colours and then just dropping that in or one colour one side and picking up another colour for the other side. Um, and it uh, gradually started to build up and I was really surprised at how all those d dirty, horrible, old mixed random colours that I had in my palette um, started to create some really lovely colours. Um, I had a little go with a pen, as you can see, just to see what um, uh, that would uh, create. Back to the brush. The paint, you can see, is very watery. Um, and the brush I'm using is, is, I think, probably one from an old uh, Chinese uh, uh, kit sort of thing. It looks like a Chinese brush. But you can use any brush. Um, the you need to be able to have a fine point so that you can get a point at each end and um, then sort of create one half and then do the other half and be able to just drop some colours into it. But you might decide to do circles or triangles or any any shape that you like. I just happen to decide on the rose on the um, petal uh, leaf sorry leaf shapes and um, I have speeded this up but gradually the colours all seem to be quite uh, harmonising together and it it really was, um, I felt quite attractive how it turned out with all, all this sort of palette dirt and that's all it really is. Um, old paint I'd mixed up for old painting projects during the last week or so and normally I just wash my palette and it all goes, you know, gets cleaned away. Um, so. I then let it dry, got out a fine black waterproof pen and started to do um, some little doodles on the uh, shapes I'd drawn. Randomly, you know, they could be lines, uh, dots, hatching, circles, um, you could, like here you could create veins, you know, anything that you like that you feel creates a little bit of interest in the um, shapes that you've put down on your paper. There's no sort of science to it, um, it's completely random. In fact, you know, there are times I can't really decide where to put some. Um, if you do decide to do circles, which I, I'm, I'm doing here, remember that half your circle can be on half the edge. Um, so it looks as if, um, you know, you've just got sort of uh, half a circle there um, and uh, it, it makes a, a more pleasing effect. And you could carry on like this for, oh, for the whole day really until you've filled in all the shapes that you've created. Um, you could pick up a different colour, uh, you could use any colour that you like. Here I'm just removing the masking tape that I had around my page in my scrapbook to keep the edges neat. And um, then off camera, I uh, used some gold metallic uh, pen that I had to work some more on some of the leaves, as you can see here. So have a go. It's great. See you again soon. Bye.